Regular expressions are used in a couple of different places in Perl in a couple of different ways. Uh, one of the most common ways to use is uh, to try to find whether a certain pattern, a certain regular expression matches a string. And uh, this is the way how we use it. So let's say we have a string, some, some string, doesn't matter, in a scalar variable. And then we, have, we put uh, the regular expression here into an if statement. So this is a conditional statement. We have the equal tilde operator, which is the regular expression operator. On the left hand side it has a string, usually a scalar variable that holds some string. And on the right hand side you have the regular expression in between two slashes. That's most of the cases, well, cases how people write regular expressions. This thing will check whether the letter M is appears somewhere in this string. So because there is this letter M, so this expression is going to be true and the block will uh, execute. The slashes are sort of like the quotation marks around regular strings. So here, in order to, to mark the beginning and the end of the, of the string, we put quote, quotation marks, double quotes, we could use single quotes, and a couple of other ways in, in Perl, right? Uh, regular expressions, on the other hand, are marked, the beginning at the end of, end of them are marked with slashes. The reason they are different than just regular strings is because there are certain character, characters that have special meanings in the string, and there are other characters that have other special meetings, meanings within the regular expressions. So, in order, in order to avoid any uh, misunderstanding, both for the reader and for Perl, they have separate different uh, delimiters and marks. So this is the most common use of regular expressions, and then uh, we can use the same uh, match, uh, but in, in a negative way, so asking whether A is not matching this string. So this just does a regular matching, looking for A within the string, and if it finds, then it says, oh, not good because we are asking whether there is not. So basically this expression is the same as this. So looking for matching, so matching, checking whether A is in the string, and if you find it, then the condition should fail. If you can't find it, then the condition should succeed and the block should be exceeded, uh, executed. So because of there is no A here, this doesn't match at A so it will print out the no match.